Hi, welcome. So today I'm going to show you how I make some of my naturally colored candles. I had noticed that one of my candle videos had gotten more views than most and I just thought, well, you know, and I'd had questions, some really good questions on an even older video about my candles. So I thought since I needed to make some to take pictures for the Halloween gift set, I might as well show you how I make them today. I thought that might be interesting to people and to my subscribers. So I have everything set up right now. I'm waiting for the, my first batch of beeswax to melt. I have my wet my wicks here, which are cotton. And I have these, which are very helpful to me. These are candle needles. They're very fat. They look like really thick sewing needles. They're a couple of different sizes, but usually I just need one of the bigger ones. Now how you use these, and I don't know how other people make candles if they put the wicks in after, but for me, this is just what works for me. So I take one of the wicks, and it is kind of tricky sometimes to get it going, but I push it through and pull it out just a just enough so that it's not going to come undone. First step is going to be my owl candle. Now I have taken my mold and it, you can't see it in here but I've poked a very small hole when I first got these in it. And this is how I do it. I find the hole, I kind of line it up with the needle and just kind of feel around until I find it. And then push it through. It's not a big enough hole to where the wax is gonna seep out, but it's enough to get your wick through. Now, this is a very helpful thing I've found that's funny. It's it's actually a little rack that came with my air fryer, but it's perfect for doing candles on because I don't really need it for the air fryer. So first off, I do like to remove these except for on my wheel candles just because I think these are made of aluminum and I don't want people having that. It, it's unnecessary, honestly. For the way I do them, I really don't need those. The only ones I leave on, like I said, is the wheel candle because those are just a little bit different. So first, I have so much wick here, so I'm going to trim it so that I can put it on here. Now first off is the owl. I have a tablespoon of very beautiful, very fine powdered cinnamon. That's the thing with any of the natural colors that you want to use for candles, you make sure you find the finest ground powder you can find because it's what's going to make the best, smoothest candle. That is some very, very beautiful cinnamon that I get from the Spice House, which is a really nice spice shop. Um, I first discovered it when we lived in Chicago for many years. It was one of my absolute favorite places to go shopping at in Old Town, which is a great little section of Chicago. They had a beautiful oil shop there with olive oils and vinegars, and then next to it was the Spice House. But I know that they also have one in Milwaukee, and they have a, just a really beautiful website, and, you know, they make great gifts for the holiday time. They have, like, box sets of spices, and I'm not sponsored by them. I just love them. They're just wonderful. They have the best paprika, I think, especially for making soap, and the best cinnamon as well. A beautiful Saigon cinnamon that's so fragrant. So I will be back when my wax is melted and we'll pour the first candle. Okay, so my wax is melted. I put them in, I put wax in a glass jar and set it inside a pot of boiling water. Not enough water to where it goes up over the edges of the jar, just enough to melt it from the sides. 
you have to work while the wax is very, very hot. Let's get this back just a bit. Okay, so pour in your cup. And these are eco-friendly recycled paper cups. Try not to use them as much as possible, but they are extremely handy for things. And I absolutely refuse to buy cups that aren't recycled paper. They're worth more using them. Okay, so you guys stir. And I mean stir a lot. That is the trick. I had a very nice lady asking me questions a while back on one of my videos. And she said hers just kept sinking to the bottom. Well, this is how I keep it from sinking to the bottom. I take the stick, which these are also recycled as well, recycled wood. And I just keep stirring, 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 stirring really fast to keep it kind of spinning. And I, as I'm stirring, I'm reaching underneath with the stick to every single nook and cranny of the bottom of that cup making sure that I feel that all the powder is incorporated. That is really important because when you pour, there'll be little chunks that didn't get in there. All right, it is ready. So you see, nice and smooth. It should look solid brown. Then the beauty of these cups is that you can make a spout with it. And we pour all the way up to the very top. Now, when I have extra wax like this, I can either pour it into a second mold if I have one, or I can pour it into my wheel mold and make a wheel candle. See, that's the beauty of those. They don't take a lot of wax and nothing goes to waste. So I'll be at, I give this just a second to get the first little bit of stuff around the edges and then that's when you know it's safe to move it and put it in the freezer. Okay, so this is how I tell. Bring this close so you can see. See how the wax has turned faintly yellowish and it's pulling away from the sides of the mold just a little bit around the very edges. You can see it real good right there. That's when it's good to take it and put it in the freezer. Okay, so next we're ready to do the pumpkins. And I have my needle again. My hands are a little stained from the turmeric. It's a messy job getting that out of the container. Just like charcoal. I'm going to be making a video very soon, as soon as my containers get here, of reorganizing my soap supplies because that shelf is a hot mess. And very hard to get things out without staining yourself up. So here I have this threaded through the hole, just like the last one. And you just poke it around till you find the hole. And pull up. And then you can undo it. And pull it all the way through till it makes it even with the, the cavity. And then I take this aluminum thing off. And then do the next one. There. And again, find the hole straight up. Right, and when my wax gets melted, we'll be ready to pour those. Okay, so I have my melted beeswax, super hot. Pour it into the turmeric, and then turmeric is a very potent natural color. It actually keeps on changing colors on you in candles, soap. Any of those things like that, when I paint with my bubble bars and stuff, I tell people that the, the color is going to get darker and darker, because it does. It gets, for some reason, it darkens up. So I didn't put in very much here. For these two candles, it was about a teaspoon and a half. It's a 
very powerful natural color. And again, just like the cinnamon, stir really, really fast and make sure you scrape the bottom with your stick to make sure that you're getting all of the powder. You make a spout with it and pour all the way up to the top. And when it's safe for me to move these, I'll put them in the freezer too and come back to unmold them. Okay, so I'm back to unmold these. And the owl usually comes out really easy. See, that was really easy. So cute. And the cinnamon really makes it smell extra good between the cinnamon and the beeswax. And then here are the pumpkins. The smaller one is easier to get out slightly. <laughs> Beautiful. And then here was the other one. And there's the bigger one. So let's move us out of the way. And trim the wicks on these. And I can't recommend enough to have an extra kind of shallow mold like this of whatever design you like so that when you have extra wax when you're making candles you can pour the extra wax in and have another candle isn't that cool I can I'll clear the wheels to make it all nice and open put a wick through it and then this can be one to give to somebody or one to keep for myself so thank you so much for watching please check out my channel if you're interested in any other naturally colored candles or soaps or bath bombs or bubble bars or anything else I make and please subscribe if you can or you'd like to every month I make new soap designs and I restock old favorites so take care